And, oh, wait a minute. Grim with a hammerlock, right from behind. Again, wearing down the arms. Don't know face any more of those, uh... Oh, wait a minute, look at this! Oh, man! <laughs> Spin out powerbomb thing maneuver there. Like a back suplex, just spinning around. Right onto the outside, and Grim pulls out yet another table. We do buy these in bulk, don't we? Yeah, well, I think we'll have to after this. I think we're going to run out. And here we go. Oh no, wait a minute. Hey, what, what, what is this? Look at this! Oh! Well, that's not my insult. That was Samus's one of her finishing maneuvers. The, the Metroid Meteor. That hanging ne uh, neck breaker right through the table. And now both these guys are down. They've got to recuperate. But I believe Grimm's going to be first up. Oh, oh, they're both up at the same time, though. Here we go. It's on. Anybody's ball game still in this hardcore match. Here, anything goes. One night only. You don't need to plug the event while we're here. <laughs> Ah, Grim. Big scoop slam. Boom. Right on the outside again. Every impact is, is double. And even more so on the uh, the metal entranceway there. And the stage. Like we said, this is what hardcore is all about. And Grim. Look at this. Power bomb. The Reaper bomb, as he calls it. And, oh. Not so much successful there. Samus just barely, I'm talking barely, got his shoulders up. That's a lucky recovery, but this might not be. At, at that, again, attempting the reverse tombstone again. I can tell Grimm is definitely desperate to pull that maneuver off, because it's guaranteed to score a victory. Oh no, wait a minute. Caught Samus off guard coming back into the ring! But not so much. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Samus reversed. Whatever Grimm was attempting there. And, oh no, Bandyplex. Referee's in perfect position. And, whoa, what a shock. What? Demos wins. Wow. Out of the, out of the blue, that, that Bandyplex. And obviously he caught Grimm off guard there. And Samus has, has, shockingly, despite all the offense, scored a victory here. Ouch. That's a shocker. That was impressive. I'll say. I think she's redeemed herself. I think so too. Well, that, that was a heck of a shock. I didn't expect to see that, but hey, anything goes in the ASF, and this is a prime example. Anything can happen here. Especially with the night that's the themed Anything Goes. <laughs> that, that, that's where we come out all powerful. Unlike what's going to happen tonight, you know, it's going to be all kind of very predictable. Or, or very annoying. It's either going to be predictable or it's going to be annoying. But anyway, we weren't, talking, we weren't going to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to compete with it, damn it. <laughs> right, my job, <jewel> boss. <laughs> anyway, coming up next, uh, in Anything Goes One Night Only, it is going to be no disqualifications. The weapons will be legal in this match as well. And it's going to be the women's champion, Lisa Simpson, taking on Takao. And these two have a history too, I believe. They do. They met at the Rumble in a tag team situation. And uh, obviously Takao came up short and Lisa was crowned the new women's champion. Beating uh, Cream, who was the uh, women's champion but no longer is. And it was a damn impressive victory. At least her and Amy, were, who were teaming up, were able to form a cohesive unit for their hatred for uh, Takao and Cream and score a victory. So let's see if Takao can redeem herself here in this. We saw a shock already with Samus. Are we going to see another one here? Only time will tell, Eggman. Only time will tell. But anything could happen with the uh, weapons involved here. Certainly could. And here is the women's champion. The new women's champion. I'm actually pretty glad about that. 
Yes, he's had a terrible time having to uh, lose to our own brother and then get ported over to Raw, losing all our friends in the freedom movement that were on Smashdown, and having to come over to Raw and put up with uh, Cream and Takao's antics, and then finally she redeems her and gets revenge. Working with Amy, which we did not expect, and picks up the women's championship along the way. Lisa's definitely making a name for herself here on Raw. No, we're not on Raw. Well, on Raw, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I guess I should have said on rule. These two are trying to maneuver for a position here, and Lisa is the one to pull the trigger first. With that big, impressive high kick there. But uh, I guess we should mention the, that Lisa is the submission expert here in this match. So she may be looking for the submission victory, but Takal does have that high threshold for pain. One of the uh, uh, surprising elements of Tikal is she able to put up with a lot of punishment. She can not only take it but dish it out too as we can see here with that huge drop kick that she just performed. And wait a minute, oh! Lisa was trying to go for something there, got sidewalk slammed. As a counter move. What a counter, I told you she can dish it out as well. <laughs> Break. And Lisa was trying to go for the submission there, that, uh... I've forgotten the maneuver on that. Help me out, Eggman. No, you can suffer this, man. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. And Lisa, let's just move on, shall we? <laughs> With these mounted punches in the corner. And a kick, sharp kick, right to the side of the temple there. That's the head, in case anyone doesn't know. Oh man, one man flapjack. Or should I say one girl flapjack. And Lisa. Ooh, mess with a kick there. No disqualifications in this match. That means the weapons are legal. But that's it. <laughs> yeah, we can't have these lovely girls trashing each other too much, can we? Certainly not. I agree with that statement. Oh man, so Tikal wants to mess with certain anatomy of Lisa's, which we won't mention. We'll try not to anyway. <laughs> well, you won't. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh. One. Wait a minute. Oh man, reminiscent of Grimm in the previous match. And uh, yes, the weapons are coming in. Lisa grabbed a ring bell and got a kinder stick in hand. Oh man, Takao was almost going to take a shot there. Was countered. And now Lisa is wearing down Takao with that headlock. That's what you got to do. You got to wear down Takao as much as possible and keep on her. Otherwise, she's going to recuperate. She has that power. One. Believe it or not. Two. Three. Yeah, you wouldn't expect the cow to be one of our more powerful female competitors, but she is. And there's an example right there with another sweet drop kick. Right into the face of Lisa, and referee's got a 10 count at work, but he's up to 6 right now, and Lisa's got to get urgently back into the ring. At the count of 7 there, was going to be 8. Whoa! <laughs> Lisa almost shot out the ring underneath the ropes there from that maneuver. The uh, head scissor takedown. And in the corner, look at this! Hey, monkey flip! That was big. The cow is oh, in the middle of the ring. No wonder Lisa looks pretty confident right now. And now with the ring bell, oh, was gonna hit the cow. Didn't make it though. The cow with a kick. Lisa trying to come back with these chops. Irish whip. Afterwards, ducks underneath. Trying to go for a clothesline. Ah, no. Got counted again. The cow with that. Sawbulk slam once again. Excuse me, I must have a drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, and there. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was that was Lisa's finishing maneuver. That was the uh, the Lisa fraction. 
and pushes the cal away. And here we go, submission. This is one of her signatures. It's the bow and arrow lock. And look at that contorted position to Carl's in. Luckily, was managed to break out of it quickly as possible. Won't want to stay in that position for very long. That's a that's amazing uh, technique by Decal. Actually, that's a very difficult maneuver to get out of. It is indeed. But Decal managed to squeeze away before it started to take any real damage on her, because that would have otherwise. I gotta believe. And wait a minute. There's another Lisa fraction. Is he gonna follow up with a cover here? Yes, there's the hook of the leg. Referee's in position here. And there we go. And wow, that was amazing. Lisa with a victory here. Shocking. I thought Decal was going to kick out of that. She's got the resiliency too, but I guess that's all out the window here. That's the new women's champion for you. Looking good and looking powerful and looking good as our women's champion. Definitely. I agree with that statement. But Decal didn't put on a valiant effort there. Got out of several maneuvers and fought the power game. But didn't come out on top this time. Back to the drawing board for the girl. <laughs> Lisa, our women's champion, victorious here at One Night Only Anything Goes. I guess I can have another drink now, can I? You go right ahead, my friend. You go right ahead and have a drink. <laughs> well, coming up next on Anything Goes, One Night Only, it's going to be the first blood match. First blood match. Ouch. Haven't had a little, one of those in a long time. Exactly. The last, the last time we actually had a first blood match was way back at Bad Blood. And oddly enough, Shadow was in that match. So he is used to it. And he's going to take on Luigi. It's Shadow, the Intercontinental Champion. In this match. Can he make Luigi bleed or can Luigi bust Shadow open? That is the idea for this match. That's the only rules for this match. You're right. There's no pins. There's no submissions. There's no disqualifications. No count outs. Can I safely say anything goes again in this match? <laughs> yes, you can. But the only way to win is to physically make your opponent believe. And that's a pretty hard feat got to be very accurate with your attacks. This demands focus. It certainly does, and I believe Luigi is full of focus. He is, has been on the rise in the ASF as of late. He's pretty much an underdog character as far as the ASF fan base, I think, is concerned. But uh, I think they do want him to, to uh, succeed at some point. And he is slowly on the rise. Is this another stepping stone for Luigi? He's got a bus shadow open for that stepping stone, and that's no easy feat. And there comes the Intercontinental Champion himself on the motorcycle. What else? But it's Shadow. It most certainly is. The Honor Continental Champion's motto is to put on a good show. No matter what the situation or the consequences. So he may be at the losing end, I don't know. If you're going to walk into a first blood match with the mindset of uh, entertaining the crowd, then uh, it may be the wrong mindset. But who knows what's on Shadow's mind right now. As he prepares to take on Luigi here is no easy weight himself. Luigi is a, much like Lisa was, a submission expert. Except he's definitely going to be using most of those maneuvers perhaps to break Shadow internally. Especially when I think of the Walls of Luigi maneuver and the uh, Pipe Dream. They can really tamper with Shadow's insides and make, make him bleed perhaps internally and make him cough up some blood. And 